Welcome to this video on how to use NVIDIA Cosmos Transfer for data augmentation. We'll see how to set up the Cosmos Transfer environment, how to download models, and specify inference configurations. Let's get started. Here on the left, I have the Cosmos Transfer GitHub repo open, and on the right, a couple of files that I've already cloned from the project over here. So on the left in the documentation, um, you see how we have ported over to Cosmos Transfer 2.5, um, however, while recording this video, we used transfer one. So let's go through the repo for that. This shows a high level diagram, couple of points about how it works, what it includes, some release notes and news, and some examples of the kind of output you can expect after running Cosmos Transfer. Here there's a bunch of installation guides. Let's go ahead and see the environment setup script. If you want to set this up on your machines, you can just follow this. So one option is to do it using a Conda environment. And here are the steps for doing that. Another way is using Docker. Um, so you can just follow the steps for doing that as well. And then there's some scripts on how to train and set up your environment for that. Today, we'll be using a Docker. And in the documentation, you also have some steps for inference. So these are just different Cosmos transfer scripts for running transfer one seven b the environment setup you see here, we've already done, but after doing that, you have to download the checkpoints. So you have to generate a hugging face token. All the steps for doing that are given, um, are linked in the documentation. You have to accept the Llama terms for the Llama model. Um, let's see what that looks like. So you just create your hugging face account and you can log in through there and then accept the agreement. Then you go ahead and download the model weights. This takes some time uh, just because there's a lot of models and they're all uh, pretty big. So you need some storage and some time to do that step, around 300 gigabytes. And once that's done, you have a bunch of downloaded checkpoints. Now in the documentation here, we have some sample commands as well. Just showing you how to run inference. And we'll be in fact doing one of these commands in our in this video today. So we'll be running the inference script for transfer. It has a bunch of arguments. So you give the checkpoint directory. This is where all the models are downloaded. You give the input video path. This is what we'll see in a minute. You give the name where you'd like to save the output. The control net spec file. So this is a specification file for all different modalities. Offloading models. So how many you want to offload to the CPU. And then the number of GPUs that you're using because this can also run in a multi-GPU setup. We'll also see in a minute how you can pass all your configurations through the um, specification file. So let's take a look at some of the input videos first. We have this open after cloning the repo on the right side of the screen here. And the input videos are what we got from Mobility Gen. Now we're inside the input videos folder. These are all the videos we got from Mobility Gen. And they're labeled like the input video name and then the segmentation video. So this is what one of the input video looks like. It's the entire scene from the robot's point of view. So you see the staircase, some boxes in the warehouse. And then the segmentation, the corresponding segmentation video looks like this. So you have pixels labeled for each class. So the floor is a different color. The wall is a different color. Um, each object in the scene is a different color. These are just your segmentation labels. And then we have a couple of more input videos of this type. So this is another input video, and then let's also see its corresponding segmentation video. So now these we will use as input to our Cosmos transfer model. The other argument you can specify is where you'd like to save it. So that's the video save name. And now let's take a look at the specification file, the control net spec file. So you can find that here in the assets folder in your repo. And there's a whole bunch of different specification files. Uh, we can use any of these or write our own. Here we've written our own and we've called it Inference Cosmos Transfer 1 Custom Weights. So it's in the JSON format and it has the prompt. Um, here you can specify what, what you expect to see in the output. So we've mentioned a realistic warehouse environment with consistent lighting and so on. You mentioned the input video path. So this is any of the videos we just saw. And then here you specify 
we can always correct the name here. So let's fix that to the right name. And it's as easy as that. You can make changes directly in your, uh, in this JSON file and um, run the inference on it. Now, some of these other controls here, um, let's look at the edge control. We've given it a certain weight and then the depth and segmentation. Here, because we have a segmentation video, let's pass that as input and specify the control weight of one. So this means it will very closely follow the segmentation masks and keep the objects um, categorized in that way. So this is how you can quickly write and modify your control net spec. Uh, be sure to save it before you run inference. And with that now, we can actually run this command and test inference on our machines. So before doing that, let's take a look at some of the other examples we have. So there is a way to specify a single control. So if you want to do only edge control with the distilled model, um, this is how you can specify that. This is what an edge control looks like. So it's just edges of the object. And throughout the rest of this tutorial, there are more examples on prompts and different outputs that are generated based on different configurations.